Hi, my name is Paisley, I'm head makeup artist at Makeup Box London and today I'm going to give you a bridal tutorial. I ask my clients to come to me fresh faced and I also cleanse their skin to make sure there's no trace of makeup on them. So first of all you want to make sure the skin is well and truly moisturised. On your client's day they'll be very stressed, it's nice to give them a little massage as part of the treatment. Okay, I then put on eye cream where the sockets are. So I'll tap it on, not too far into the eye. The skin of the eye will draw the, the cream up anyway. It also helps to massage out any puffiness in the eyes. Now I've already matched the client's skin with the foundation, so I'm going to start by using the MAC Face and Body. So you test the foundation on the cheek, um, and if it, if it sinks in, it's the right colour, so this is perfect. So this is C1 MAC Face and Body. So you can start with a light coverage and depending on how confident the bride feels on the day, you can build it up to a thicker coverage. And then I just use my fingers to tap it in and work the foundation in. Now depending on what kind of eye you're going to do and how confident you are with it, a little trick of the trade if you put quite a lot of powder underneath the eyes, now normally when I do this with the brides they panic, but it's fine, it just catches any loose powders or pigments if you're doing a smoky eye, which you can brush away afterwards. With my brides on the day, I always use extra stay long products, and this is a MAC paint pot called Painterly, and what it does is it secures the eyeshadow onto the eye and keeps it there all day. So you put it on and you just work it in, not too much. This is the Naked 2 Urban Decay palette. And I'm using Foxy as a base colour. So this goes all over the eyes, like that. With the MAC Brush 227. This one's Cozy Grey and we're putting it over the socket. So it's slightly darker, so you start with the light colour and then on the socket go a little, sh like one or two shades darker. I'm going to do a natural eye with a bit of smokiness at the sides. And then I'm going to go over this in the middle with some tweaks in the middle of the eye here. I'm going to get my Naked palette again and use Busted. Close your eyes. And then put it in the corner of the eyes. Make a V shape. You can take this right along the eye to form part of the liner. That's how I like to do it. You just want to blend that in. Slightly lighter colour, this is a YDK with the MAC brush 289. I just pat down again in the corners just to build up the colour and the pigment. So with a silver fog, I'm going to put it in the inner corners of the eyes and underneath the eyebrow to highlight the brow bone. So I'm going to just brush away the powder and it's nice if it just gives a little bit of a lighter effect anyway because it acts as a highlighter under the eyes and just brush upwards and it's caught any of the darkness of the shadows underneath. Now we're going to use a Bobbi Brown sepia ink. I prefer to use a brown which is quite dark anyway. Um, especially if you've got blue eyes on my bride. Close your eyes for me. So you start in the middle, and I'm gonna give you some slight flicks. Okay, look up for me, and I'm just gonna do a fine line underneath. Just gonna take it halfway along to keep the eyes open. Then I'm gonna go back over, look up for me, with a brown eyeshadow, just to blend in. I'm now going to put some concealer under the eyes. Um, you, you could do this before um, the foundation or you can do it after the foundation. I like to do this after I've done the eyes just to blend it in. Now you, sometimes it's best not to go too light on the concealer. You want to go for a colour that matches the skin tone. And then you blend it in. So you start at the corner, blend down. I always use a waterproof mascara for brides um, and the bridal party in case there's any tears. This one I used, which I quite like the consistency of, is Tea Leclerc from Paris. Um, and they sell this, I think, in Liberties and Harrods. Okay, look up for me. And then you separate the eyelashes. Okay, you can use the excess to go back over the eyebrows. 
Now I'm going to use this colour, Pe Pincho Peach, is my MAC product. Now it comes across really pink and brides get scared, but it actually is a very soft finish. So get my brides to smile, smile for me. You really want to get on the apples of the cheeks. So just put a bit here and then you just work it upwards. And then I go over it with a bit of bronzer. You just do it with a Work it in with the blusher. So I like to use both. And you can use this for contouring as well. This is a MAC pencil, hip and happy. So you draw in the line. And it's good to get a lot of concealer on the lips to make sure the lipstick stays on. And then I use the MAC Pro Longwear, which is unchanging. Open for me. And this is really good for brides because it really does stay on. And then you just work that in. Now the lipstick is set, you just go over the top with a lips with the other end. A few lips for me slightly. And the bride just keeps topping this up throughout the day and it will not budge. Finally, I'm just going to set the makeup with the, with the MAC Fix which will help secure the makeup throughout the day. Close your eyes for me. Just the lights a bit. This completes my bridal look. Just give it one final dusting. There we go.